Hello, I'm Brian, one of the animal keepers here at the National Zoo's Commissary in the Department of Nutrition Sciences. Here we prepare the daily diets for all the animals in the zoo's collection, and today we're making an ice cake for the giant pandas, Tian Tian and Meishan. The cakes are made mostly from water, juice, and fresh produce. All of the ingredients are approved by the zoo's nutritionists. In addition to providing some of the zoo animals' daily diet, these cakes also provide enrichment something that contributes to an animal's well-being by keeping them physically and mentally active. The six rainbow-colored layers of the cake are made from very dilute juice. Pandas enjoy sweet treats, but they consume very little natural sugar, and a little juice goes a long way. The red, yellow, and purple layers are made with cranberry, pineapple, and grape juice. The orange, green, and blue layers are made with apple juice and food coloring. The layers also contain chunks of their favorite produce hidden inside, apple, pear, sweet potato, carrot, banana, and grapes. Although pandas in the wild consume a diet of bamboo, the zoo supplements their diet with a variety of fresh produce to ensure adequate nutrition. Some of the juice will also be poured into baking molds in order to form rainbow-colored decorations, which will adorn the cake. And now the cake layers will go into the freezer, at 20 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, for a few hours. These pellets are leaf eater biscuits, basically a dog food-like kibble for herbivores. Containing beets, their red color makes them ideal for ice cake decorations. I'm adding hot water in order to soften them into a mash. They can then be molded into shapes, used to stick layers together, and even used to decorate the cake. The soupy mixture of water and leaf eater biscuits is poured into these heart-shaped baking pans. These hearts will be frozen and used to decorate the tops of the cakes. I'm using the biscuit paste to hold the layers together. Not only does it keep the cake in one piece, but it gives the pandas some enrichment as they tear the cake apart to get to the frozen biscuits inside. The sake mixture is also used to attach decorations to the cake. The leaf eater biscuit hearts are taken out of their molds and attached to the tops of the cakes. And our cake is finished. Thanks so much for watching. 